Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is May 22nd, 2019. And as we are watching what could be our final two hours leading up to sunset in Israel, 7.33 p.m. in Israel time, uh, sunset. Today we show that uh, the moon is conjuncted with Saturn. I shared about this yesterday, and uh, so we are definitely waiting on sunset today, and I just wanted to share with you uh, a couple details that I am seeing. Someone uh, sent to me uh, the detail that I should look up in the Strong's what the number 733 is. So 733 in the, uh, I think this is Hebrew. Well, I'm not sure right now if this is Hebrew or Greek. I think this is the Hebrew. Uh, 733 means traveler. 733 means traveler. And 733 in the Greek means a sodomite, a male engaging in same gender sexual activity. Uh, sodomite. Brother Rody shared about Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed on second Passover, the 17th day of Ayar, as in the days of Noah, as in the days of Lot. We had talked previously about the fall of man on the 17th day of Ayar, and that the, uh, the sign that we have is that the 17th day of Ayar being the fall of man and the curse that came upon the world, the great flood and the extinction of humanity, uh, except for Noah and his family, uh, the judgment, uh, the worldwide judgment that came at the flood, and then uh, Sodom and Gomorrah being a definite sign for the end times about how judgment will come upon the whole world by fire, as in the days of Noah, as in the days of Lot. So we have 733 connected to Sodomite. But I also wanted to share with you about Lagba Omer and uh, it, what it shares in the Torah codes being the day of Messiah. Because as uh, the 17th day of Ayar ends, whether we are looking at uh, today being the end of the 17th day and the beginning of the 18th day of Ayar, or if it's tomorrow, we have the conjunction that when the 17th day of Ayar ends, Lag Baomer begins. So it's the, it's the cutoff between the 17th and the 18th, and the, just the meaning of Lag Baomer is tied in with this, so we need to consider how this is all connected and uh, just watch. Basically, my perspective has always been watch everything, okay? And that's why, you know, I don't get, try not to get too far ahead unless I have a clear indication that we're going to get to a certain point. I've been watching basically everything for six years trying to understand all the calendars, trying to understand the importance of all the signs in the heavens. And uh, so this is, no, this is no different. We are at seven days from the rebirth of Israel, 17th of Ayar, and the uh, Lag Baomer, which is the cutoff between the 17th and the 18th day. So let's look at what uh, we found in the Torah codes about Lagba Omer, the day of Messiah, portal to redemption. According to Rabbi Glazerson, a Torah codes expert, the holiday of Lagba Omer, celebrated on Thursday, is a portal that could bring either the great light of Mashiach, the Messiah, or the great darkness of an end days war with Iran. This is ironic that uh, this, this, was, this article was written and found. These codes were found and, and written one year ago. But everything lines up to this year being Thursday. It lines up to the tensions right now with Iran. So very uh, important that we need to pay attention to this. 
According to Rabbi Glaciusen, a Torah quotes expert, the holiday of Lagba Omer celebrated on Thursday is a portal that could bring either the great light of Mashiach, the Messiah, or the great darkness of an end days war with Iran. The, the rabbi also explains the simple keys to determining which it will be. So we see the connection between the, the, the light of Messiah for those who are saved and possibly raptured, as we are hoping, and the, uh, and the darkness that will come upon the earth through the Great Tribulation. Rabbi Glazerson, an acknowledged expert in Bible, call, Bible codes, determined that this year Lagba Omer will be, be, be the, will be the beginning of the final redemption. Lagba Omer is an opening that can bring in great light or darkness, the rabbi said, noting that the six-day war came less than one week after Lagba Omer in 1967. So here we have a connection to not only to the 70 years, but to the 50 years, and the year of Jubilee from the uh, reclaiming of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Lagba Omer is an opening that can bring in great light or great darkness, the rabbi said, noting that the Six-Day War came less than one week after Lagba Omer in 1967. The war began with an all-or-nothing airstrike, which committed all of Israel's warplanes in a surprise attack against the Egyptian Air Force. Had the attack failed, Israel would have been unprotected, vulnerable to any counterstrike. The airstrike was successful beyond all expectations, and the war resulted in the nation of Israel being reunited with the Temple Mount. Rabbi, Rabbi Glazerson explained that in the same manner this Lagba Omer could usher in a positive geula, or redemption, should Am Yisrael, the nation of Israel, choose to do teshuva, repentance, or alternatively, our sins would be purged through great suffering. So it's repentance or purging through, through great suffering. The period of the Omer is generally a period of less than joy when weddings and other celebrations are forbidden. Lagba Omer, however, is a spark of joy in that period of diminished light so, very important detail is that Lagba Omer, in the, in the uh, Omer count between Passover and Pentecost, it's the only day that weddings are allowed. And so there's a great list of weddings that takes place on this day because in, in the 50-day countdown to Pentecost, it's basically a, uh, a time of, of repentance and uh, less than joy. And weddings are, are forbidden, but Lagba Omer is a spark of joy in that period of diminished light. So this goes together with the uh, people being married and giving in marriage. This is the day for weddings in Israel. Basically the last chance to, to marry if you want to have a spring wedding. This is the last chance for a spring wedding. I think there are a lot of signs that connect the 17th of Iyar and the 18th of Iyar, Lag Omer being the 33rd day of the Omer count. You know the uh, Illuminati number is 33. This is their, this could be their day that they're waiting for. Illuminati 33. Most remarkably, the code for the 18th of Iyar appears as a continuation of the word Moshiach, Messiah. This is adjacent to the acronym Rashbi, which is surrounded by the words Kabbalah, Sohar, and Meron. Also appearing on the graph was a, re was a repetition of the word Moshiach. We have twice Messiah, Rabbi Glaserson said. It could be because it is the son of Joseph, and the son of David. So Lagba Omer, the code, is connected to Messiah. The rabbi was referring to the Jewish tradition that the final redemption will, re will come as a result of a two-stage process. First, by the Messiah from the house of Joseph, 
which is a natural and revealed process of settling the land of Israel, and ultimately by the Messiah from the house of David, which will be a miraculous supernatural process culminating in the third temple, and may I add, the millennium. So we are watching today, the 17th day of Iyar, whether it begins today and ends tomorrow, and the 18th of Iyar, Lag Baomer, the 33rd day of the Omer, begins tomorrow and ends Friday, we are right now entering the window of the 17th day of Iyar. Does the 17th day of Iyar end today at sunset or does it end tomorrow at sunset? And we are connected to the number 733, a traveler, a sodomite. And the connection between those that are going to be going home to their heavenly kingdom and those who are going to be judged as in the days of Lot. I am not suggesting we have the time or hour or minute of the rapture. But this would be amazing if exactly at sunset those of us who were watching had right on our clock what we were watching for and the rapture happens in my uh, time zone it's 11.33 it would be 11.33 a.m. 8 hours in central time is 8 hours before uh, Israel time east coast is 7 hours uh, west coast is uh, 10 hours and the mountain time would be 9 hours so for those of, in the United States anywhere from from uh, uh, 9.30 a.m. in California to 12.33 p.m. in uh, New York and Washington, D.C. So I'm not suggesting that we have the hour of the rapture. But I will definitely be keeping an eye on 11.33 a.m. where I am. And uh, wow. Wow whether it's today in a few hours tonight or tomorrow I believe we have arrived and we are out of here any minute now I pray you are blessed this is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed <laughs>